Hey guys, it's Mr. D, the band teacher, again for another lesson on smart music. This is such a great software. I cannot stop talking about it as a tool to become a better musician. Everyone's using it. It's definitely the thing to do. Um, it uses technology, uh, listening. It's, it's great. It's, uh, I can't speak enough uh, wonderful things about it. But today we are going to discuss um, one final feature, if you've been watching all my smart music uh, videos. One is the recording feature. And this is kind of a cool, something totally different. Um, a lot of kids play, you know, and they never really hear themselves and never really uh, get a chance to see, wow, I, I really sound like that. So in the recording feature, you actually can record yourself and then create your own MP3 to play back. Um, so let me show you how to do it. As always, you're going to go and open up a song. I'm going to select Tone Builder, something really easy. Actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to select... Something that doesn't have a second uh, repeat sign, like um, ch -ch -ch -ch, Mozart Melody. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to record myself making Mozart Melody. I'm going to hook the microphone up to the best possible uh, placement uh, for my instrument. So flute would be near your lapel or on your shirt. Sax would be on the bell. Um, trumpets would be on the music stand, sort of uh, not directly in front of the bell, but a little bit off to the side. Um, and you can go to the website, Smart Music website, to get the exact uh, placement for your microphone. But when I'm ready to go, I'm going to hit the record button. Okay? Now, I like to tell the kids to put the solo line on so you know how your song is uh, being played compared to how it's supposed to be played. So I'm going to click that on, and I'm going to do um, the record button. And then when we're done, I'm going to show you what to do with it. So here we go with the recording of Mozart Melody. Okay, when I'm done, then another box is going to pop up call, uh, called Recording Options. And what we're going to do is we're going to preview it. Here it goes. Now I can make the solo part louder or softer. And I can do the same thing with the accompaniment. So I'm going to mix it the way I want to. And then I can listen to the whole thing or stop it. And then the cool thing is you can save it as an MP3 file. So let's save it right now. Um, we'll sit, just save it to my desktop just for, uh, and we're going to do Mr. D. Okay, it's going to go right to the desktop. And the great thing about having it as MP3, you can import it into like an iTunes and drag it on your iPod to just show everyone how you play. Um, you can keep like a little portfolio. It tells me that my recording saved. You can keep a portfolio of your progress. Um, you can email it as an attachment if you know how to do that. Um, so I wouldn't worry about this second one right here because um, we're not really making a recording. Right now we just want to make little MP3s of our playing. So I would follow that process again. You're going to mix it to the way you like it and then save it. And when you're done, you can hit done. All right, and, and, you, and you know from a previous video that even you can record it, but you can also view your assessment. And you can see I did pretty well on that. You can actually see a grade. We talked about that earlier. And um, we can email this stuff if you want. Um, that's another lesson that we're not going to really focus our efforts on. Um, but you can actually take a snapshot of this screen and save it as well with your errors or your corrections. I could save this snapshot right here and save it as a picture. It'd be kind of cool I can show someone. All right, so that's the recording feature. Let's just go over it real quick again. We want to make sure our microphone level is set. In the middle, I actually had a little low. Um, uh, connect the microphone to the best possible place. It could be lapel, on a music stand, or actually on your instrument. You're going to select the song you want to do, and then you're going to hit the record button. All right, again, you can choose, but I like to keep the solo line on unless you know the song really, really well. 
You're going to hit the record and record your song. All right? So I hope you have a lot of fun with that. I think it's a really cool feature to hear yourself play and, um, and see how you do on a lot of these songs, especially your favorite songs. Okay, so rock on. I'm having fun with the smart music. I hope you are too. Uh, if you have any questions, go to the contact page at the top of the website, or you can see me in class. All right? So rock on. Keep practicing, and we'll talk to you soon.